It's expired. It's probably expired. Just drink it. Go, go. Hey, Jack guy. Yeah. When are you gonna jack me? Akita, why are you buying that sh the hell? You sure you got that jack in a good spot? You gonna check? Nope. Are you taking this wheel off or what are you doing? I'm just waiting. Watch it. You don't have to wait to take the wheel off. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Looks so good. <laughs> Let's go. What's going on chat, YouTube, Discord, whatever it may be. Thank you so much for tuning in and I am so sorry for potentially blueballing you a little bit on the last episode, but we have the wheels on. We have the seatbelts back. We're finally gonna be putting the whole car back together so that we can get the car outside, take a look at it and show you. So I apologize, but thank you so much for coming back for another episode. It's kind of a little bit of an Attack on Titan-esque feel, you know what I mean? So we're gonna jump into it. If you guys haven't had a chance yet to follow up, this car is going to be uh, going to Las Vegas for banging gears which means we had to get it ready to run around a racetrack. It's never been around a racetrack before in its entire life. Um, at least not that I know. The only thing it's been around is a tree. So don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to drop a comment below. Check out the Discord. And if you're looking to support, you can pick up a t-shirt over at alexmartini.net. Let's get into it. So I finally got my seatbelts back and the point of them was to actually get them in yellow so that everything would match. The wheels are indigo blue, match the stitching. The black interior kind of matches like the whole darker exterior here. And then of course we were gonna have the yellow because we have the little centerpiece there in the steering wheel. The tack is yellow. And then of course you have the yellow badges. Now, the only problem is, is that when I got the wheels, or I'm sorry, when I got the seatbelts back, they came back in black because they couldn't do it. So they said they could repair anything. They could repair anything. Can't repair this heart. So we just gotta throw them back in. That's 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 a problem for a different day. Uh, we ordered some actual ones. We'll see if they come in in time, but the odds are they probably won't. So we're just gonna get everything put back together because I don't wanna risk it. And uh, yeah. <clears throat> the good news is, is it's actually not that hard to put back in. The whole system oh, just bolts right into here. This is where the assembly goes. Kind of comes right through here, runs through here. Then obviously this is your, your little shoulder adjustment. Um, the reason we sent them out was because the driver's side one wasn't behaving. So we wanted to get that fixed. And then I also wanted to change it to yellow, but for some reason uh, they said they couldn't do it. So now I'm going to put it back in just because I want to make sure we got it done. And because it's, it's one of those things where it's like, I'd rather have everything put back together. And then if something arrives on time, take it apart, put it back on, then have everything torn apart and then wait till the very last day. And and none of it is ready. I'm trying to prevent the procrastination. We're just gonna leave that hand tight for now because what I wanna do is I wanna mock the whole thing up before I go and I tighten everything down. Plus I wanna double check what the torquing is for the actual seatbelt, make sure that that goes in correctly because it's important to have safety. Honestly, one of my favorite things about this car continues to be the interior. Like choosing to switch it around from the peanut butter to this Alcantara has to be probably one of the best and few good decisions I think I've ever made with this. Plus with the blue stitching, it looks so good with the wheels that you haven't fully seen yet on the car. Stay tuned. I uh, got this thing all the way torqued down. Good news is, is Ferrari owners are just as clueless as every other type. So they just said, tighten it down as much as you can. Um, we got it through here. This is just connected by one bolt and then like a push clamp. And then we got this thing bolted in, which means the only thing we have to do, connect it to the seat and we should be good to go. If you guys don't know, I'm kind of one of those guys that I just like to be prepared. I don't want to be surprised by anything. If it's going to be a shit box, at least the shit box is consistent. I need my shit box consistent for next weekend. I don't need any loose ends. So almost Stop. Okay, good there. Now we're gonna put that cover back on. Now the worst part of this whole thing last time was these bolts because they are absolutely trashed. So we're gonna see, I can't remember if Gels ended up getting new ones at Home Depot, but if not, we'll stop here. We need new ones. These ones definitely aren't gonna work. That's definitely gonna be a trick to, to the old hardware, the old Ace hardware, because I love those guys. They're all like average age is 70. But one thing I did forgot is I do have fire extinguisher and I did buy a fire extinguisher mount for obvious reasons. So we're gonna do that. And in addition to that, I'm gonna show you what I'm bringing with because I do wanna have some backup plans just in case something doesn't work out well. Maybe the wheels or tires have an issue or something like that. I'm gonna get it all organized and I'm putting next to the old crusty, or I'm going to put it next to the old crusty S2000 so you can see everything that's coming along with me. 
So I was coming across this small problem, mostly not trying to plan this out at all, actually. I was heading out, I looked down, my car aired out. I was like, oh, okay, whatever, that happens. Sometimes the leak happens. But then I looked at this back here. First off, the line is showing again, which is a problem. We're gonna have to fix that. But second, you can't really see back there, but the front rubs. I made zero progress on this car, or what feels like zero progress. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna see if I can get a smaller front. Now I did the measurements on this and there's other people that run 430s with 245 35s in the front, but I think because the Sport Cup 2 is just a thick boy, the 245-35 won't work. And I need to run 245-30s. It'll bring it in about uh, an inch in diameter, but it's Tuesday. The car leaves Thursday morning at four o'clock. So we're gonna go for a run and we're gonna see if somebody can help me out. Something, 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 mysterious ways. Check this out. No deets, 245, 30, 245, 30. Let's go, Sport Cup 2, these are going to fit. I'm so excited, but I do need to go over to Baumgart's again. Oh God, they must hate me. So I have like 30 minutes and I still need the hardware for passenger seat. So this is the nearest thing to Baumgart's I could find. We'll see if they have what I need. Actually, let's do four. Just four. Oh, that in there. The good news is, is like, whenever I feel like maybe time is moving too fast, I can just head into a true value. Like Bill Clinton is still what's being talked about. The internet is an exciting new thing. TikTok is bad news. Bad news on TikTok. Average age, 57. That was really fast. Look at how much smaller that sidewall is now too. That's gonna make a huge difference. Let's go. I'm back again. No. I was just trying to tell the internet how thankful I am to have you guys. Aww. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. In all honesty, everybody, it may not be bum guards for you if you're not in like the Fox Valley area, but everyone needs a local shop like a bum guards. You know, like family ran, they can do little projects here or there. They give you a lot of shit while you do it because they know that, you know, you're you. It makes the whole thing fun, honestly. Meet, like, I remember meeting Mike back in 2019 and just, he still hasn't forgotten about me. I'm assuming he just knows me as the annoying kid with all the wheel swaps, but like, it is nice because I can just come in here one day, get everything swapped around. Nick's over there, an awesome guy. So if you guys are in the Fox Valley area, you know, check it out. Now, to those that are still upset about me taking the glory out, even in like mild winter time, I want you to know, that this car is is not, like it's not, you know, uh, what I would say maybe, it's not a dirty, you know, it's not a dirty car, all right? It doesn't get around, okay? But for me, it's dirty for me, all right? You know what I'm saying? Like it does what it needs to because I needed to do it, okay? And even though it's a little unorthodox, even though it's a little weird, uh, you know, it accepts me for my interests and what I need done. And every once in a while, I, you know, I do take care of it. I do go to a quick trip and get it washed before I go home. So, does that mean it's gonna prevent rust? Uh, no, because really what you need to do is you need to let it air dry, otherwise the salt actually uses the water to oxidize and that's what causes rust. But besides the point, I take care of this baby. See? And if you're wondering why a 35 aspect ratio makes a difference between a 30, this is why. I try to line it up as perfectly as I can. Obviously, it's not perfect, but that 35 is a percentage of your section width. So 245, 30 is 30% of your section width is your is the height of the sidewall of the tire, typically. Um, some tires run wider, some tires run narrower. Michelin Sport Cup 2s run a little bit wider than what I'm typically used to. But even if you look at a 245, 35 compared to a 245, 30, look at the difference that you get in terms of the clearance between the two tires. I mean, you're talking, at inflated, you're probably looking at almost three quarter of an inch, probably like 0.6 ish, but still, I think that's gonna be enough to make sure that these bad boys fit back here. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. Oh, so good. We go all the way over. Still cleared. With the 35s I was rubbing right here, but with the 30s I'm completely fine. That's good, that's good news. That's good stuff. Oh, that's so good, just finally. <laughs> oh my God, finally. Such a relief.
I have not had a single win working on this thing, getting it ready. This side looks good too. Yeah, it clears, just barely. All right, let's get the rest of this carbon back together. Now I know what you guys are waiting for, which is the unveiling of the wheels fully on the car, but I'm exhausted, mostly pissed. If I'm being completely transparent with you guys, I'm very upset right now, mostly because nothing on this car has gone according to plan. Outside of the wheels and tires, even the wheels and tires gave me a hard time. It's like, I'm pretty sure I put the seat belts back in right, but then because I took them out, we put them back in, now they're being a pain in the ass. Like they won't retract and it's just, it's annoying and the clips on the plat, it's just a pain in the ass. So I'm gonna figure that out. I'm not gonna let it ruin the mood, but I am agitated. In other news, I started packing my emergency kit. Um, originally, I was thinking I was gonna pack this, but in all honesty, if we need this, I feel like we're screwed anyway. So, that's no good. Um, but what I do have is this. I have more unlimited different fitments so that in case I need to push it out or pull it in, I should be okay. I have a whole nother AccuAir E-level like management button touchpad, um, zip ties, bunch of cable stuff actually from my desk. Um, I have my titanium lugs from my old wheels just in case I gotta put those back in. I've got some nice wiring that I used for the AccuAir system. I have a 3 8 plumbing kit, another ECU for the AccuAir. I just don't know if AccuAir is gonna pull through, okay? I'm just making sure. I got some more wiring, some cables, some additional cords. I will also be bringing my good old trusty Performax that I got when I was like 16. I got my Go Lucky pictures. I got some really basic stuff in here. I've got some zip ties, um, some self tappers that'll pull from here. Bring the old Black and Decker with me, as everybody else probably has like fancy ass Milwaukee tools. Some brake cleaner in there. And then I'll be packing an extra set of wheels and tires. I don't know if I'm actually just gonna bring tires or if I'm gonna bring wheels and tires. I've got the lift or the jacks, the jack stands, Dustin's Milwaukee tool kit, a detailing kit, jack, trickle charger, and a car. So hopefully this is good enough. But now I'm gonna show you guys the car, finally, because I think it is due. 